All right, let's take a look at where we left off last time. So we have a player, and our character is walking around. And if we come too close to this NPC, you can see it starts to take energy away. Now, we, we might want to, again, this is like us wearing our game design hat. I'm going to select my player here at F to focus. Is you want to just sort of tweak these values, right? Like my current speed is 10. Maybe we juice it up to 12. So that gives me enough speed to get away from this energy monster. But you can see I can kind of run from it. You can go back. Now, we will need to create like maybe a pickup later. And that gives us sort of like a bullet or something or, you know, an a energy blast that will eliminate all the negative energy. And maybe if we decide to make this a character, we can have it switch out to a character that looks like healthier or positive, right? So anyway, as this is following us around, we can get away. It follows the same path. And, uh, you know, even the NPC, we've got to play with that move speed a little bit. And there's always going to be a little bit of cleanup. Um, for instance, like we noticed it was like flipping out when it kept bumping into us, like that value moved. So, um, and actually if we stand here, let me see if it, it does kind of just keep taking energy away. Yeah, it does. All right, cool. So um, let's have it where, uh, let's go ahead and script the code that like when it gets too close, it makes a message pop up on the screen. Um, and uh, that it says like you lose or something. So let's go ahead and open up our NPC damage script and start working on that logic. All right, up at the top here, I'm going to add a using TM Pro. Now, if you watch my other videos, you know that I like using Text Mesh Pro because it just gives you better, far better uh, text and quality. Now you can see here that it automatically started to uh, populate this for me. I'm not going to be using this IntelliSense command. I'm going to use my own. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. All right, so we have a TextMesh Pro GUI object, and this is going to be a text box, and I just called it message. And this message is to display when the player's health reaches zero. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's return to Unity and plug that in. All right, so here we are back in Unity. Let's grab our non-playable character script, and you can see now we have a TextMesh Pro GUI object. Well, how do we add that? Well, on our canvas here, I'm going to right-click and I'm going to add a UI, and then I'm going to grab this text, Text Mesh Pro. And um, you can see here it's it's added, and we want to import TMP Essentials. And that's what's going to make it pop up on the screen here. You can see now it says New Text. Now the thing here is we can actually just go in and just delete this text, and it'll still be live in our scene. But for now, I'm just going to write... Um, I'm going to write, um, forgive that flicker, sometimes Visual Studio will open up on you. I'm just going to write something like um, test, and this is just so that I can see about placement. So I'll hit F to focus here, and let's uh, zoom out a little bit. And I want this to be maybe underneath my health bar. And because it's there's a lot of light colors in the scene, we can really just make this black. And we can add a, there's a bunch of really cool features. There's, let's see. Uh, I know there is a stroke setting somewhere. Let's see, color, softness. Um, we'll have to do something, a little, you know, a little later. But like you can see uppercase, you can make it all uppercase. Uh, you can adjust the font. Uh, looks like there's only one in there now. But for now, I just want to increase this. And let's make it bold. And... Strike the italics. Uh, well, there's a way to do it, but for now, we'll just have to settle for this. And then I'm just going to move this text up a little bit. And I'll expand this out here and then down below because if I want that text to say, you lose, find positive people or something. Anyway, here's our slider. And now when I select my NPC, I can drag this slider and just drop it inside of here. Now let's go ahead and save our scene and return to Visual Studio and look at some code that can update this. All right, so here we are. And what I'd like to do is maybe place it here. So let's see. Maybe hmm. we'll, we'll actually just place it here. I'll let this logic kind of stay together and I'll place it. I'll place an if statement right here. So what this is going to do is, again, this is running every frame. and we're just going to check the distance, and if we could actually place this, 
as its own element inside this update. But for now, let's just check it out here. If our health bar dot value is the same as zero, then we'll set our message to active. Um, and this, what I'm thinking though is like, and then we can actually display the you lost information. Um, but because what I was thinking is maybe we we actually have that information in there and we have it off. So let's save this and I'll take a I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, here we are back in Unity. Now to set something to inactive, that's this text most pro here, is so I can just turn it off. So what I'm thinking is because we in the previous tutorial we actually just sort of changed the text. What we can do is just plan out our text ahead of time. So we can say you lose try to stay or find positive objects. Kind of extend this a little bit more. There we go. And this can also allude to, um, and actually, you know what we might want to do is, let's add a panel like this. And let's just place this behind these and adjust the size of this panel. So let's see. And that'll give it a little bit, uh, I'm just going to place it behind here. Like this. See, we could just like hit this and that will probably give us a little bit more control. And that way it stands out a little bit more. And we could probably make this a child of this. Now let's deactivate this, not the canvas, but the, uh, let's make the panel a child of the display. And we might have to, let's see, what if we drag the panel in here? Will that work? And we need the text mesh pro in this order. We'll leave that up for a second. We'll, we'll figure that out later. But for now, I'm gonna deact I'm gonna make this inactive, and I'm gonna hit Control S to save. And this could be maybe updates for messages all the time. So let's just see if let's find this guy here. Let him kind of suck our energy and see if it makes our panel active. Boom! You lose. Find positive objects. So in the next video, and you probably figured it out, we're gonna probably have to make some pickup objects that are positive and they affect our health bar.